The film begins in a market with our main character, Kang Dong Chul, who at that time works as a market porter or courier at that market. He delivered all the orders of the traders in that market. As usual in the market, there are thugs who always annoy the traders. One of them is a gang leader who has a lot of debt with Dong Chul because he hasn't paid his services as a delivery man for months. Even so, Dong Chul is still patiently waiting for the gang leader to pay his debt. One day, Dong Chul receives a call from an old acquaintance asking him to do business or invest in King Crabs. <laughs> He was promised quick financial success if he invested in the King Crab. <laughs> After get off work, Dong Chul picks up his wife, Jisoo, to go home together. Despite his bad feelings, Dong Chul did not tell his wife that he had invested all his money in King Crabs because their finances were very difficult and their debts were piling up. <laughs> Jisoo doesn't seem to like Dong Chol playing investments and the like because of their poor finances, so Dong Chol chooses not to tell her. Moving on to another place where we will see the antagonist or villain in this film, Ji Tai. He was in an apartment to collect a debt to a middle-aged man. However, since the man has no money to repay his debts, Jitai does not hesitate to threaten him with violence. <laughs> when he was about to commit a heinous act, suddenly, the man's daughter came home and saw them torturing her father. Jitai discourages killing the man because he sees that he has a beautiful daughter. In exchange for a debt, Ji Tai takes the daughter with a plan to exchange it to pay off the debt. When the Ji Tai group returns home from the man's house, they accidentally crash into Kang Dong Chul's car. Dong Chul got out of his car, not to ask for compensation, but to make a report on his car warranty claim. Ji Tai's men instead throw money to Dong Chul to compensate for the damage to his car. Jisoo, Dong Chul's wife, is angry to see her husband being treated like that and gets out of the car to beat up Ji Tai's men. Ji <laughs> Tai apologizes for his men's behavior to Dong Chul, but he seems interested in Jisoo. After the incident, Dong Chul goes to the guild leader's house to demand payment for his delivery service that has not been paid for months. Humbly, Dong Chul asked for payment because they desperately needed the money for living expenses. However, the guild leader reason had no money and only gave a small part of Dong Chul's wages. Inevitably, Dong Chul had to accept the money. A few months later, Dong Chul and his friend John await news of their King Crab investment from the guild leader. However, the gang leader tells Dong Chul that their King Crab transport ship is detained in the China Sea for various reasons, and they will have to wait even longer. It seems that Dong Chul and his friend have been tricked by the guild leader. In the evening, Dong Chul invites Jisoo to dinner at a fancy restaurant to celebrate their wedding anniversary. There, Dong Chul orders King Crab, but when he is about to feed Jisoo food, Jisoo suddenly discusses divorce. Their economic situation is so bad, even their property will be confiscated by the bank to pay the rent next month. At that time, Dong Chul tells Jisoo that he has made a massive investment in the King Crab business that will improve their economic situation.
천만 원? 공 하나 더 해가지고. 뭐? 이 유. However, hearing this, Jisoo gets even more angry because Dong Chol is playing with a deteriorating economic situation. Jisoo returns home alone and leaves Dong Chol at the restaurant. Despite being angry at first, Jisoo still longs for warmth. She asked Dong Chol to go home, and Dong Chol was very happy with the request. However, as Jisoo waits for Dong Chol at home alone on a rainy night, suddenly people knocked on the door and walked into the house. They were the ones told by Jitai to kidnap Jisoo. When Dong Chol arrived home, he was shocked to see the messy state of the house and the broken windows. Panicked, Dong Chol searches for Jisoo, but doesn't find her. He immediately reported the kidnapping of his wife to the police, but the CCTV that was there was sabotaged. The police could not find any evidence. Suddenly, Ji Tai himself calls Dong Chol, threatening to kill Jisoo if Dong Chol continues his report. Ji Tai offers to meet in person and talk things through. 집에 냉장고 보면은 명함 하나 붙어 있을 거야. 2시까지 거기로 와. 그 next day, Dong Chol went to a restaurant to meet Ji Tai, but Ji Tai did not show up. Dong Chol waits for hours. But Ji Tai finally contacts him through the phone in front of him. Jitai offers money in exchange for Dong Chol's wife. Dong Chol reported back to the police and took the money as evidence. Every day, Dong Chol goes to the police station to see the progress of Jisoo's kidnapping case. However, the police can't do much to find Jisoo, leaving Dong Chol feeling desperate. He enlisted the help of his friend, Jonchik, to contact his famous acquaintance to solve any problem, but for a high fee. This is where we see Dong Chol's true side. He went to the guild leader's place to demand all of his unpaid wages, glarely staring, ruined the place, and beat up the guild leader's men in order to get the money. After getting the money, Dong Chol and Chun Shik meet a detective who can find Jisoo. Dong Chol doesn't trust the detective much because of his unconvincing behavior and asks for additional FEs. Dong Chol gives one day to find Jisoo. If it fails, Dong Chol will cancel his contract. The next day, the detective finds evidence related to Jisoo's kidnapping. They head to the house of the perpetrator who allegedly conspired with Jitai, but it turns out to be Jitai's errand who brought money to the eel restaurant. Then they ask the person to share information about Jitai and Jisoo. They rushed to the place pointed out by Jitai's errand earlier, which turned out to be a small bar and illegal gambling place to sell fake license plates for cars. Oh. 
Without further ado, Dong Chul asked for the necessary information. The owner of the place immediately told his men to finish them off. When the owner wanted to finish them off, Dong Chul was undaunted and managed to subvert them. Finally, they get information about one of Ji Tai's men. Here, we just know the figure of Dong Chul. Jun Sik tells that Dong Chul is a famous former gangster with a much feared nickname, Bull. However, after marrying Jisu, Dong Chul decides to live peacefully and become an ordinary person. However, because Jisu, whom he loves so much, is in danger, Dong Chul is forced to show his true side again. A few days later, detectives find evidence about Ji Tai's true identity and where they are. They find a man who has suffered a similar fate to Dong Chul, where his wife was kidnapped by Ji Tai. After getting information about the victim, they immediately went to the person's place. The man reveals that Ji Tai is a lunatic who is obsessed with trafficking women into prostitutes under his control. Ji Tai usually kidnap women who have financial problems in their family, and he pays compensation to their family. <laughs> After getting a clue about Ji Tai, Dong Chul remembers that he once got the same business card when his car was hit by Ji Tai. He went directly to the place listed on the business card and found one of Ji Tai's men there. Without much ado, Dong Chul takes Ji Tai's men to the detective's place for interrogation. When they were about to torture Ji Tai's men, Ji Tai suddenly contacted Dong Chul and introduced himself proudly. Ji Tai is very disturbed by Dong Chul's resistance, who has been rejecting his offer to sell Jisu. Annoyed by the situation, Ji Tai invites Dong Chul to race, who can kill first, whether Dong Chul kills Ji Tai's men first, or Ji Tai kills Jisu. For Jisu's safety, Dong Chul was forced to join Ji Tai's game and managed to make Ji Tai's men faint first before Jisu became a victim. <laughs> After that, Ji Tai asks for the money back with Jisu's safety, guaranteed without reducing anything. Ji Tai's men who have just fainted tell Dong Chul that Ji Tai always kidnaps women he thinks can make good money and always compensates their families. However, Ji Tai's men don't know where Ji Tai's position is because they are always moving around to avoid being detected. Dong Chul plans to take Jisu in good health, so he tries to steal money from the police station that has previously been used as evidence. They followed the detective's plan to retrieve the money, and they posed as the district attorney. However, their efforts are almost exposed, and Dong Chol creates a commotion outside the police station to divert attention, so that they can bring the money from the police station. <laughs> Dong Chol then called Jitai and said the money was already in Dong Chol's hands. Jitai then told Dong Chol to come meet him at the building. Meanwhile, Jisoo tries desperately to get out of the detention center 
with another victim named Seo Hyun. Jisoo tries to force open the trellis window so they can escape, and Jisoo manages to get out of the window. However, just as they were about to escape, one of Ji Tai's men caught them, and Seo Hyun was caught. Jisoo tries to escape by stopping a passing taxi. <laughs> But unfortunately, in front of the police station, she is again caught by Ji Tai, who has arrived first. Dong Chol arrives at Ji Tai's hideout and confronts Ji Tai's men who are there. Dong Chol, who is alone, kills Ji Tai's men with a strong determination to save Jisoo. while Chun Shik and the detective rescue the women who are about to be moved. <coughs> Finally, the police caught up with them and rescued the women kidnapped by Jitai. Meanwhile, Dong Chul continues to search for Jisoo, who was recaptured by Jitai. They ran into Jitai halfway and Dong Chol chased after him without hesitation. Dong Chol's pursuit is not easy because Jisoo is in the car with Ji Tai, so Dong Chol must be careful not to endanger Jisoo's life. <laughs> When Ji Tai's car was about to skid, Dong Chol blocked it, and it was thrown off the road. Although injured, Dong Chol managed to defeat Ji Tai, who eventually lay helpless. <laughs> <laughs> Dong Chol is considered a hero for dismantling the human trafficking business. A few months later, the investment of King Crab Dong Chol and his friend began to pay off, and Dong Chol's economy has improved. Now, Dong Chol has his own restaurant for Jisoo and himself. That was the end of the movie played by Ma Dong Siok. The movie ended happily. <laughs>